Hello everybody, welcome to this special video where we're going to be talking about the Creative Financing Playbook. This is a new playbook that I've put together for people and business owners like yourself who are maybe looking at different ways of funding growth or expansion um, and different types of uh, investment opportunities for their business rather than just looking at traditional methods using banks and other sort of financial institutes. So I wanted to put together a few ideas for you and also within this you can actually download the creative financing playbook you'll see the link to that below this video um, where you're wherever you're watching it so i encourage you to do that because inside there are some exercises which you can take which will help you to do this and not only uh, will they help you to 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 actually undertake uh, the, the parts that we're looking at in these partic this particular video in that are in the creative financing playbook but they will also encourage you to look outside uh, of this and give you different ways of thinking about things and different ways of thinking about how you can actually move your business forward uh, by raising capital in different ways so let's just uh, take a look through now the creative financing playbook so here we are with the in introduction and it says welcome to creative financing playbook it's designed specifically to provide business owners with unconditional conventional and innovative financing strategies beyond traditional bank loans and that type of conventional financing. The playbook aims to help you secure capital for uh, business expansion and overcome many financial barriers. Explore the following sections to discover creative financing options that can fuel your growth. So let's have a look and see what we've got here. So section one talks about crowdfunding. Obviously crowdfunding has been around a little bit, a little while now. And as we talk about here, it's a very powerful tool for raising capital for a large number of individuals who will believe in your business. It allows you to showcase your business idea or project on crowdfunding platforms and attract backers. And when you're doing that, you want to look at these different types of crowdfunding. Reward based crowdfunding, which is a quite a traditional one that you see on a lot of the big platforms. This is when you involve when you're offering incentives to individuals who might contribute to your campaign to really help you raise the finance that you want. And it can range from early access to products or services, uh, different types of exclusive merchandise or personal experiences or other types of things. And then we have equity based crowdfunding. Equity based crowdfunding allows you to raise funds by offering equity or shares in your company. To investors this method can attract obviously financial support but it also potential business partners or mentors so you're getting a double whammy with this type of thing because you know money is not the be all end all you can have all the money in the world but if you don't really know what to do with it or what you should be doing with it or how to use it best at the end of the day money is just a tool like any other tool that you can leverage the better you are using that tool and the better the people around you are at leveraging these tools the better success you'll have so think about money a little bit differently if you've got that uh, we just need to raise the money it's not just about the money it's about what you do with that money uh, sounds obvious but sometimes we overlook that and then the next one we have uh, number three on this particular list is peer-to-peer -peer lending and then the peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms are ones that connect borrowers directly with individual lenders and that eliminates the need again for traditional financial institutions you can uh, will uh, explore the potential of peer-to-peer -peer lending as an alternative financing avenue so let's just have a look at one of the exercises in the book so in this uh in the playbook here we've got some exercises because obviously information without action is uh useless absolutely no 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 use to you whatsoever and each of these ones has a little five minute exercise that you can take so in this particular case if you feel like you want to uh use crowdfunding then we're going to have a look at how you can actually create a reward base for crowdfunding pitch and it's only going to take you about five minutes now obviously as i've said it's not just about um, raising the money you need to know what to do with it as well so that's why you want to work make sure that you've got people that you can uh, go to about different types of things and obviously always look to try and get involved with an expert you know maybe uh, what the one step that perhaps we should have put in there first is is a good way of doing this is actually get somebody involved in your business who's done this before and knows exactly how to do it maybe you have to hire somebody it will be well worth your while because as with anything you know raising money is a very important skill and there are many different ways of doing it so sometimes it's worth having a, a dedicated person within your business or somebody that you can go to on a consultancy basis or a coach or how it might be to do that because you can't do everything yourself you know it's a one big mistake you don't want to make so we're not going to go through the exercise today here on this video but as i said you can download the creative financing playbook uh underneath this video where you'll see it a link to it and then you can actually go through it yourself when you've got the time and take the five minute exercises that we have for you. And they'll be really beneficial because not only will they help you with this particular one, but they'll also help you 
to with your creative thinking that might lead to other discoveries so let's have a look at what we've got in section two strategic partnerships one of my favorite ones this one uh, strategic partnerships you know the, the great thing about them is not only to, can they um, give you access to the capital that you need but they can also give you expertise and resources and expand your business network so almost a four in one thing with strategic partnerships plus you know the other thing we've got to remember is that you're actually uh, if you're working with a business and you're collaborating with another business you get access to what they have access to already and they might already have access to the people that you want access to so strategic partnerships works well in so many different ways in this particular instance we're looking at it in, in terms of potential investment in your business but as i said it is a great great way of growing your business in so many different ways um but there are different types of you know strategic partnerships when we're talking about looking for investment we have obviously uh, co-investment partnerships this is where you explore opportunities to collaborate with other businesses or investors to co-invest in a new project or venture or existing venture of course pooling resources and expertise can reduce the financial burden and increase the chances of success now again as i said when you think about this you will really uh, start to open up your creative juices get them flowing because there's so many benefits to different types of strategic partnerships and this one is the one that people really don't think about much at all this is a great way of uh, getting the finance that you need to grow uh no, you can negotiate favorable payment terms with your suppliers or establish customer financing programs customer financing programs are very very cool because you're basically taking out the middleman taking out that financing part the customers are actually directly financing um you uh selling to them you know if you are have a good brand and you have a good following or you can create a good brand and a good following then people will really buy into what you're doing so they'll want to support you and if ultimately you can show them that what you're looking to develop now is maybe it's a new product or service that's going to really help them then um you know they will absolutely they'll pay for it they'll give you the pay for it for you so they actually finance a new building product service uh, and then put it to them and of course they have already bought into it and uh, you know, they're going to have more involvement. It's just a natural human process. They're going to feel more involved. It's gonna, they're going to be really excited about this new service or product, and they're more likely to recommend it. So you've got the added whammy there of a back end of uh, you know, referrals and um, testimonials and things like that. So really great strategy, this for raising finance, you know, often overlooked. And then on the third one, we have barter or trade agreements. You can consider entering into barter or trade agreements with other businesses to exchange goods or service without cash transactions. This creative approach can conserve capital while still fulfilling business needs. Again, a really clever thing. And this one, again, when you start thinking about this particular type of um, how way to finance, it can lead to uh, other ideas to do different things in your business. You know, maybe you can um, barter or trade trade agreements for for a service that you need. It's a really clever way. You take the cash out because don't forget, you know thousands of years ago there was no such thing as cash how did we do it well this is how we did it we have we used to barter or trade and you can still do that today you know, again another really cool way of doing things i highly recommend you look at that um because as i said earlier it will really open up your eyes to the possibilities in other areas of your business not just necessarily raising finance so again as i said earlier we have an exercise here where you can identify potential co-investment partners it takes five minutes uh, you can have a go at that just download the um the document uh from uh, the link below this video and you'll be able to check out these exercises and take them with it in your own time frame and number three on the list is grants and subsidies you know this is again <clears throat> obviously depends on where you are in the world uh, for instance i'm currently based in the uk and uh, there are many different types of government grants and subsidies and they are often available to support business growth innovation sustainability initiatives and we're going to have a look at the different types uh, some of the different types right now so number one on the list is research and development grants these are obviously the you know the main ones i guess you would say are very uh, a lot of them available for different things especially for techno technology advance advancements uh, support for innovation, product development, you know, things like that. So have a look and see what you can find there. Again, there's an exercise involved here, which is going to help you to do this well. And that's what we want to do, help you to take action. There's no point you learning the stuff or even thinking about it if you're not going to actually do it. Or you're not going to find somebody else to do it for you. Or you have somebody in your business that's already there that might have the skills 
uh, to do this for you is that it's, a, it's you know finance you always need a cash flow and everything else if you're going to grow a business and continue to grow and scale you're always going to need access to finance in some way shape or form so the more options you have the more uh, tools you have in your toolkit the easier it is to um, you know make sure that things keep flowing for you and you don't end up stuck uh, because you don't have access to the finance you need and I would also say on that point really even if you don't think you need it right this moment it's well worth start looking into these things in the past particularly some of the strategies with strategic partnerships the customer based strategies and things like that it's well worth looking at those in advance because you know like with everything there's no point just saying oh no i woke up today and i realized that i need you know cash invest cash investment otherwise the business is going to close or we're going to have to get rid of some we're going to have to you know lay some people off make some people redundant we don't want to be in that position we need to be forward thinking and looking at these things all the time so always be looking to raise finance or have people there um whatever type of uh, relationship it is that that can give you uh, access to what you need when you need it so that's R&D uh, grants, obviously export or international expansion. If you're thinking about exploring in, uh, other markets, ex you know, international markets beyond your uh, locality and maybe expanding globally, uh, then you can investigate sort of grants and things that support for export initiatives or ex international expansion. You know, these, the, these the types of grant, grants can provide funding to overcome market entry barriers and associated costs. Plus also, when you do these types of grant and you look into this sort of thing, you'll also find you can probably get access to experts that can help you um, cut through the red tape because especially if we're going to a market that's completely different to the one we're currently in with a lot, you know, totally different laws and rules, then you do need the expertise again as i said earlier the money alone is not enough you need to know what you're doing you need to have people there that can help you take the right the right kind of action to eliminate as many missteps as you possibly can there's always going to be trial and error with anything you do but obviously the the less the, the less of that generally speaking the better although uh, trial and error i think is a great thing value is you know a gift in my opinion uh, that will help you to uh, really overcome um, any obstacles that you may have in the future so export or international expansion grants another one we can look at and then uh, sustainability grants obviously in recent years and particularly now with uh, you know the climate emergency and um, sustainability, uh, ESG policies and things like that. We really are looking at a lot, lots more sustainability type grants that are available. Um, and uh, the, as it says here, there's been a big increase in those types of one, sustainable practices, energy efficiency, of course, environmental initiatives. And these grants are not only support your sustainability goals, but they can all, uh, also uh, differentiate your business in the market. You, you can, uh, by doing these types of things, you can actually obviously make this part of your outreach to your potential customers and your potential customers hopefully will have the same, you know, sustainability, um, you know, energy concerns and environmental concerns as you do. Therefore, they will be attracted to you and more likely to want to work with you, uh, want to buy from you and indeed want to support you in all the other ways that customers and people can support a business it's not just about buying products or services of course and again we have an exercise here research research and development grants that's not easy to say first thing in the morning and i'm sure it's even harder to say if you've had a drink or two which i haven't uh, at the moment <clears throat> so i'll um, give it a go you know, have a have a couple of have a couple of drinks and see how you get on <laughs> but anyway again we have this uh, nice little simple exercise five minutes is all it takes and it will help you take action and identify maybe what you don't have now, or maybe what you need. And, you know, if you are thinking about outsourcing this to somebody else, it would be either an existing person in your business right now or somebody else, then at least you have, you know, some uh, some foundations on which to work. Uh, this particular exercise obviously encourage you to explore research and development grants that can provide financial support for your innovation, product development or techn technological advances in your industry. Uh, but don't forget, with all these things, allocate more time outside of the exercises to conduct a thorough evaluation. And obviously, if you're applying for uh, grants and things, you know, you really need to obviously do, give that a bit more time. We want to put these exercises in there for you just to give you the encouragement, get you started and give you some, uh, get those creative juices flowing. Because a lot of this is about creativity and thinking outside the box, of course, uh, about ways of um, 
raising funds in different ways. And we've only really looked at a very few here. Um, some of the ones that I think are probably the lowest hanging fruit in terms of this type of thing. So we're at the finish line. Conclusion. In conclusion, this creative financing playbook, it will serve as a guide to explore different types of financing options uh, beyond the traditional financing uh, loans and banks and things like that. You know, there are many more that we obviously we could talk about, but um, you know, we don't want to uh, over overcome you with information at this point. We want you to take action slowly. If you have a different type of um, action that you want to take, then maybe this this uh, playbook can help you by giving you different ideas as to how to look at things and how to really, um, you know, um, take action on those, which is obviously the most important thing. So you can leverage of the, these strategies and many more that we've outlined in the playbook and secure, as we said, the capital you need to fuel your back, your business expansion either now or in the future. As I said earlier, don't forget, uh, always be planning forward, always trying to be making more relationships and doing different things to have that capital on hand when you need it to expand, um, not uh, the sort of last minute, uh, last minute Larry type of thing. We don't want to be a last minute Larry. We need to be forward thinking, don't we? So also, uh, as I've just said there, once again, and I repeat, I don't mind repeating, and I'm happy to repeat because it's so important. Creativity and thinking differently uh, can open the doors to different types of sources that maybe even we've we've not even thought of today, nobody else has thought of, that can align with your unique business needs. And that's important as well. These have got to be right for your business. You know, there's no point going in and raising a type of finance that's not going to work for you or your business or indeed your customers. So in conclusion, what do we do? What do we do next? So, well, next we want to level up. What I want you to do next is I would like you to come and join hundreds of other entrepreneurial business owners in my free Unleashing Brilliant Skills. What is the Unleashing Brilliant Skills? I hear you say, Paul, well, I'm glad you asked very much indeed. Uh, I actually have a book out, which is called Unleashing Brilliant. You may have read it. Uh, it's available on Amazon at the moment, and it is a manifesto for modern entrepreneurships. And a lot of the things that we talked about here, ESG, for instance, you know, I believe that entrepreneurs hold the key to our future. We are problem solvers. We are people that care passionately about, um, you know, problems that other people have, problems that we have, problems that communities have, problems that countries have, problems that the world have. I believe we are the ones that are going to come up with the solutions that are going to save our planet, save our species, if you like. You know, that might sound all very negative, but actually I think it's a very positive thing because the more of us that we can get together in one place, and you know, bouncing ideas off and making collaborations as we said you might even find yourself a strategic partnership there are lots of that that type of thing going on you know where else will you find people of like mind uh, than in a group uh, with about like-minded entrepreneurial business owners this um, group is, is free it's free at the moment the guild is free to join um, so you can find it on the school app uh, which is S K W O L. If you haven't heard of it before, it's a really cool app. You can access it on de desktop, mobile, tablet, everything. Um, but uh, yeah, if you haven't got a copy of my book, when you buy that, you will actually see access to uh, the school uh, group in that as well. Uh, and as I said, the book is called Unleashing Brilliance. Uh, the the guild, the group uh, associated with the book, is called the Unleashing Brilliance Guild. When you download the um, the play the playbook from the link below this video or wherever you're watching it or listening to it then you will actually see within there you can click this link in the actual playbook and it will take you straight to the group and you can join for free and not only uh, you know we have um, obviously lots of collaborations and things like that going on lots of networking what have you but there are loads of free, great free resources similar to this playbook and actually access to uh, more advanced uh, courses and uh, mentorships and all sorts of things so i really want you to come and join us that'd be great and uh, but in the meantime i really appreciate you listening to me today and i hope you enjoyed the value that we're trying to create here I hope it's really uh, opened your mind a little bit about different options it's you know just because you can't get that traditional bank loan it's not the end it's just the beginning there are so many ways that you can raise the finance to get your business to that next level so again i've been pulled back to you i really enjoyed uh, talking with you today i hope you enjoyed the video if you did why don't you share it why don't you share it with somebody else you know you probably know a lot of other business owners who probably need access to capital and maybe in a different way i'd really appreciate it if you share this video with them and i'm sure they would too and maybe they'll want to join with you the entrepreneur the unleashing brilliance guild but either way 
just give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you thought of the video and if you think there's anything that we can add for next time look forward to seeing you take care